Hey, it's Matt here. Um, I've had a few requests on how to do the splits joke. Now, um, a lot of uh, modern youth players now call this the splits joke, and uh, it's a technique that George Formby invented, and nobody else played like that at the time in the 1920s and 30s, etc. Um, George Formby started this offer, and he invented this, and uh, it's what we call now as a split stroke. Now, um, there's a lot of parts to George Formby's playing. There's many little right-hand rhythm techniques and, and left-hand techniques as well that uh, George Formby applies when playing um, his ukulele solos. I'll first um, start off by demonstrating basically the foundation of the split stroke. Now it's a rhythmic style of playing and uh, I'll do it in slow motion as best as I can, I'll um, try this. Now this is the split stroke in slow motion. I'll play it again. Now, the sound, basically, what you're trying to produce are these notes. Those are the notes you are trying to achieve, and I'll show you how to achieve these notes. Now, first, with my right hand, when I go do a downstroke, I'm hitting all the strings like this. Now when I go up on an upstroke, I use the, my pad of my finger and I'm just aiming for those two strings there. I hope you can see this by the way. Then when I go down again, I'm aiming for the top strings really, like this. That's what I'm doing with my right hand. Now, um, with my left hand, I'm doing basically finger lifts, really, uh, like this. Now, when I go down, I've got my finger on. I'll call this chord C chord. I know it uh, isn't. It's something like uh, E flat uh, because my my uke's tuned in uh, that key. But uh, but anyway, I'll call it C for simplicity. Anyway, uh, basically, I'll I'll go down with my finger on that C chord, like this. Then when I go do the upstroke, I lift my finger off and aim for them two bottom strings with my right hand. I've still got my finger off and I'm aiming for those top strings there, like that. So, um, like this. Like that. I'll demonstrate it again. I help you with it. <laughs> um, I'll explain it once again because uh, it's very tricky and uh, it will take many, many attempts uh, to get this. Uh, right. Um, basically, when I go down with my right hand, I've got that finger on in my left hand. When I go up, I've got my finger released and I'm aiming for them bottom strings when I go up. And when I go down again, I've still got my finger off and I'm aiming for that top lot of strings there, like this. Now that's just the chord of C. 
Now, um, George Foreman did uh, other finger lifts on other cuts to give this effect. For example, uh, the F chord. I'll call this the F chord. This is the F chord, and I'm taking that finger off there, like this. Still doing the same thing in the right hand, exactly the same, but just a different chord. another chord or you could do this one which is uh, the C7 now there's a George Formby number which I always think is uh, a very slow rhythmic split stroke uh, kind of thing and uh, it's a George Formby uh, song entitled Madame Muscovich. It's about a Russian gypsy queen, a Russian character. But um, anyway, um, try and get a copy of that because the solo in that, I, I always play the solo in this because I always think it gets you in the mood really. It gets you, um, it gets you in the feel of the George Formby style. Now, um, I will play this. Now basically um, the chords, I'm just switching between two chords here, it's the C and it's the A minor and it's the split stroke. It's basically that, down, up, down, down, up, down. And I'm doing this, so I'll play it to you now. I'll start off slow, in slow motion, then I'll speed up. included more of the George Formby techniques in that but do you remember what I've just shown you on there is the foundation for the George Formby split stroke that is basically what everything lies upon it's the foundations for that now um, remember to try out other chords as well other chords which you think has a finger lift like this G7 I don't know if you can make this out because it's uh, a tricky one to see on the camera but um, I'm basically taking my bottom finger off that is uh, this string here I'm taking that finger off on that G7 chord like this and the same thing in the right hand exactly the same I'm still taking my finger off in the same place as when I did that C chord there like this etc like that now um, I hope this video has helped you in starting to get the feel of the George Formby split stroke and I hope it's been some help to you um, always if you've got any questions about anything to do with um, ukulele playing or whatever you want just uh, send me a message and I'll be obliged to uh, reply to you thank you very much Take care.